I've recently posted several videos discussing the different edible parts of the cattail plant, including roots, shoots, flowers, and pollen. In this video, I'm going to show you how to make a friction fire using the dried out cattail stalks. I'm going to show you the whole process, not editing out any of the time it takes to get the amber going, to show you just how difficult it is to get a flame using the hand drill system. I started by cutting a notch in the fireboard and burning in the hole, so it is now ready to get the fire going. So I was able to do it. We have a fire with the hand drill using a cattail chute and uh, just a fireboard. One thing I learned is that that soft fluffy part of the cattail is great for catching an ember and smoldering but it's really hard to get a flame 
you should have some grass or I use the cattail leaves which were a little big to really get it going but once you get that little ember into that cattail duff it will just smolder and smolder and really get hot so it's great for starting fires um, and catching that ember but you'll need some grass or fine material to really get that flame but this thing has been sitting here for a couple minutes and it's still smoldering so really a great it's hot in there really a great uh, primitive material to have with you when you're making fires is that soft cattail duff. It just smolders and smolders. The cattail was a little trickier than some of the other ones I uh, made friction fires with because the center of that pith is uh, really soft and so it was basically just working on the fire board hole on the exterior. You can see almost in this one that it was carving a circle and leaving that uh, center part higher. Uh, it's kind of drilling it right through. So cattail's a really useful plant. You can eat it, you can use the leaves for baskets and for mats, and you can uh, use the shoots and the dry duff for making fires. Awesome plant.